I've never felt more convicted that we just freaking broke the seal and we're about to take off. Never felt more convicted. So keep believing in yourselves. Okay? Keep believing in the, in the coach's eyes up. Keep believing okay, that this, what we're doing, is what we're supposed to be doing. And this is heeding the call. There's youth that just watched that game that now believe because of you. But now let's take the next step. Got me? You give me one? Heed the call is a call of action, um, you know, for our players and our and, and our staff that we were put in this place, you know, for a reason. And there's there's deeper meaning um, to you know and deeper substance to to this time in our lives right now. That you know, if we were all have this opportunity and we look back on it, that we're gonna understand that we did give maximum effort to to follow our calling and to, to, to feel like this is a purpose. And, um, you know, we all, we all ha come from different backgrounds, but, you know, it's that, it's that deeper purpose that we're living with, um, you know, and, and, and because of that, we should, we should answer the call. And so he, the call is all about doing whatever we have to do as a group, you know, to understand that purpose and, and to, to chase it. After their first three games were on the road, the Reese Puffer Rockets finally get to play in familiar territory, Rocket Stadium. It feels like a festival near the stadium grounds as the Rocket City kickoff event is taking place. On the field, Reese Puffer looks for its third win of the season as it takes on Holland. Previously a receiver, Reese Puffer senior Brooks Johnson was asked to switch to a lineman position this season in order to help the team. He's done so, selflessly. He thought he'd never see the ball again. Until his scoop and score during the Holland game. It was a feel-good win for Reese Puffer against Holland. It was just what the Rockets needed, especially with the big game against a city rival in seven days. That was, a, that was one of the nicer, you know, victories we had, watching you guys do it without accessories. Watching you guys cheer on one another. Play football for the right reasons. Wear the brand for the right reasons. All the stuff that we always talk about within our culture. It was nice to see it get played out at times. All right? We're going to move on once we step off of this field. Right? Celebrate, and we're going to move on. Two weeks ago, Reese Puffer fell short in a measuring stick game at Mona Shores. Now, the other city rival pays a visit to Rocket Stadium, Muskegon. Last season, Reese Puffer played Muskegon tough at Hackley Stadium, but lost a close one. The Rockets are looking to make a statement. Yeah! 
Reese Puffer played hard against Muskegee. The Rockets had their moments and they stayed within striking distance of the Big Reds, but they couldn't get over the hump. The mark of a successful football program goes well beyond the wins and losses. It's about teaching life lessons, making memories, and forging relationships that last a lifetime. Uh, I was looking for an opportunity and these guys were, were give, giving me that opportunity um, to lead a program and lead, lead young men. But I also think, you know, the deeper piece of that, I saw a community um, that, that, that needed action, that, that needed, you know, something to believe in and that needed a, a change and, and someone that's, something that's really well overdue. And, um, you know, I, I do believe that there's strong community members in here, there's strong families, you know, within this community and there's, there's athletes that are starving for, for some success and, you know, and, and understand what it takes to do hard, hard things and, and put the work in and, and get the results that they're looking for. So, um, I saw this as an opportunity, you know, to kind of use a platform and, and, and use this as a call of action to, to make sure that, you know, I'm continuing to follow my own passions and the things that I believe in as a, as a human being, but uh, to, to then also allow myself to open up to a lot of these players and this community and, you know, and, and see where, where we can do and, and how talented we are as, as a staff and, and, and talented as a community and, and, and kind of come together and see if we can build something special. And, you know, we're deeply rooted in substance and, you know, in the right things. And I think that's what, you know, we're starting to see those things pay off. But, um, you know, Reese Puffer, again, you know, is, 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 a, is a community that gave us an opportunity. And that's why we're, we'll always kind of, you know, love this place because of that. Um, you know, and now we're, now, we're, now we're starting to see, you know, what we have to do to kind of take the next steps. I got expelled in the middle of sophomore year. I've grown, you know, just staying away from the stupid stuff, stupid people, you know. I don't, that's pretty much it, just like I was being a complete idiot, you know. I wasn't surrounded by the right people, wasn't in the right state of mind, you know, just trying to do whatever I did, I was being super selfish. And now that I have like a good team around me and good mentors and stuff that I can actually like count on and trust and that like actually love me and stuff, it's like a big change just for how it feels and not wanting to be an idiot anymore. Football helps just because, like, like I said previously, just the mentors, the teammates, everybody's holding everybody else accountable. And just like, I want to play and I want to be there for my boys and help them out. And if I get in trouble, I can't be there for them, you know? I don't even know what I want to do. You know, something to do with writing. Like, I like writing poetry and stories and stuff, but I also want to run my own business and be my own boss. Maybe go to college, maybe go in the military, you know, maybe just take a two years for MTC. Then back to Tad is just like huge, like it's just a different energy throughout, you know, everybody's actually bought in. Like previously, like with the last coach and like the last culture, it's just like a lot of infighting, a lot of just not good stuff that the whole team would be doing. And now it's like everybody's on the straight and narrow trying to not be an idiot and just trying to like love each other and make the team and the culture as best it can because it's not really like about us it's about like the program five ten years from now we're just trying to lay a good foundation you know he's obviously been a great mentor to me too you know just he, the way that he acts and treats people is like super relatable and you can just take it in more because it's like real you know what i mean it's not like a a fake kind of try to be your friend thing or it's not like i'm a mentor or i'm like the the boss you know it's like he tries to relate to you and while still obviously we have the respect and he's our coach and we listen to him but still it's like we don't like obviously we listen to him because he because he's our coach but that's not the only reason why you know what i mean reese puffer seniors max dibble brooks johnson and Antrell jones have different backgrounds and unique stories but each of them made the decision to heed the call they bought into what coach cody cater is building in the reese puffer football program as have dozens of other rockets players they know what it means to be a Rocket, to be part of a family that makes up a football program. They've laid the foundation for what's to come for Cater and company at Reese Puffer.